And up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go into the middleweight division where the 1 and 2 20th ranked Nick Diaz will take on the 21st ranked 3 and 3 Robert Whitaker. Herb Dean will be our referee for this bout. And both fighters look ready to go. And Robert Whitaker looks hyped up. Robert Whitaker has been on a huge fall as of late. He is three straight losses in a row. Nick Diaz also with two. Nice exchange there for these fighters. Good straight from Robert. Good kick to the body. Nice leg kick there from Robert Whitaker. Neither of these guys have been at their top form as of late, but both of them seeking a win to get back on track Robert Whitaker made it to the finals for the middleweight championship tournament uh, but ever since then has been unable to pick up a win can he get that today it seems like as of right now standing up Nick Diaz has the advantage his younger brother Nate is the lightweight champion he will be facing interim champion Dustin Poirier who he has already beaten but uh, Nate went up a weight class to take on then champion Ben Askren in the welterweight division and came short Nick Diaz has not seen the same amount of success here in this universe mode as his younger brother Nate Nick there going for a takedown is denied and gets hit with a elbow Superman punch didn't was blocked there good clinch work nice right hook there from Robert Whitaker Robert Whitaker ooh nice combination for Robert nice jab there oh good high kick for Nick Diaz Nick did spend quite a bit of time training with his younger brother Nate, who is, seems to be the better of the brothers at this point in time. Uh, some would say back in the day, Nate was the lesser of the two brothers. But that's hard to argue now. Some nice combination. Ooh, good elbow there from Robert. Nate's, ooh, nice straight from, from Nick. And Robert is already bleeding. Nice straight. Good followed by a jab there for Robert. As we come to an end of this first round. And that was a good round. Hard to score. Got to give it to uh, Diaz there with that high kick. Which is what opened up the cut underneath the eye of Robert Whitaker good solid first round for both fighters uh, if I was scoring the bout I would give that one to Nick and he would be up 10 to 9 and here we go set for round 2 again Nick with that forward pressure he gets met by a straight from Robert Whitaker Oh, good head kick there from Nick Diaz. He's got Robert hurt a little bit. And Robert looks like he's able to gain composure back. A few uppercuts there from Nick. Good straight from Robert. Push kick fails. Good Superman punch. And kick to the body there for Robert. Robert now seeming to up his stand-up game. Good kick to the body there from Nick. Both these guys playing a lot of defense here. A lot of these punches being blocked, but a lot of output from both guys. Good left hook lands there for Robert Whitaker. Oh, and a kick that lands. That was a crane kick. It looks like it landed on the way back up. 
Uh, Nick did a crane kick and then was lifting his leg back up and then clipped Robert and hurt him pretty good. Both these guys now bleeding. Good combination there for Robert Whitaker. Nick firing back though. We're, we are about midway through this second round. Nick with some pretty good uh, combinations there. Oh, gets met with a... Oh! Huge overhand left. Just barely clips Re Whitaker. These guys are just standing right in front of each other and exchanging. It's good to finally see some stand-up battle. A stand-up battle here as all the earlier fights were a wrestling clinic. Um, oh, nice overhand from Nate or Nick, excuse me. And Robert fires right back. Both these guys bloodied up. Oh, big uppercut lands and a head kick that gets a knockdown for Robert Whitaker. He's in the full guard of Nick Diaz, who is dangerous off his back. And he is going to immediately look for, immediately look for a submission here. He's got that arm. He's looking for Kimura. Can Nick do it? Can he get back on the winning side of the division? He's got that leg over Whitaker's head. Whitaker doing everything he can, but there's a lot of pressure. Whitaker's going to have to tap, and it's almost to the end of the round, and Whitaker taps. I did not see the tap, and Whitaker looks like he is hurt. And a bloodied Nick Diaz gets the win there with the Kimura off his back. He got knocked down, but he is a dangerous guy to be on top of. Here's that head kick. Wham! Almost got his hands up to block it, but he goes straight down. And Robert goes down. And let's see where this tap is. Still didn't see the tap there. Oh, oh, he must have screamed something. It looked like his arm may have been seriously injured. Big win for Nick Diaz back on the winning track. And here's Bruce Buffer. Congratulations to Nick. Up next, we have a big fight in the light heavyweight division as the 4-3 17th ranked Jimmy Manua will take on the 18th ranked 3-2 Tiago Santos. Both these guys are power punches. Eve Levine, our referee, expect a absolute brawl here. And here we go. Oh, good spinning back fist lands for Tiago. These guys meet in the middle and immediately just start throwing punches. Tiago looks like the bigger guy. Manua, don't, but don't let that uh, don't let that make you think Tiago's got a easy win here because Manua packs a punch, as you can see right there. Tiago doing a good job of getting his his hands up to block most of those, but he. Still felt a little bit of those punches. Good kick. Oh, straight there from Manua that lands. He's working off the jab. Ooh, nice hook. And a spinning back fist, and he's got Santos hurt. Told you, do not count this guy out. Jimmy Manua is a heavy-handed guy, and he doesn't want to get too aggressive here as Santos can make him pay with his one punch knockout power. M Manua is a strong guy but Tiago Santos is a beast. Good high kick there for Manua. Nice defense there for both these guys. We are midway through this first round and there's a good combination there for Tiago most of that was blocked 
A lot of head kick attempts for Manua. Jimmy's looking for a single leg takedown, and that's denied. Santos just pushes him off. Both those guys looking for a kick. Neither of them really land. Good kick to the head there for Santos. And Manua, just look at the speed difference. Manua is fast, and he is strong. Santos doing a good job, though, of blocking most of that. Good leg kick for Santos. We got just over a minute 15 left in this first round. Manua has been the aggressor, which is shocking. They go to the clinch, and Manua is able to land an elbow and exit. Manua working off that jab, goes for a high kick and misses. Oh, misses that push kick. This has been a high pace first round for these light heavyweights, which is something you don't usually see. But, um, you know, Manua definitely the aggressor. He landed more. He landed more significant punches and kicks. He did rock Santos a couple times. Uh, round goes to him 10-9 in my scorecard. But you never know with the judges. So you got to think Manua is going to go in there and look to put him out. Good uppercut lands there for Manua. Left hook, right hook. And then a straight there. Good kick to the body for both guys. But Manua follows up with a straight that lands. And here we go, Eve Levine about to start round two. And here they come. Good leg kicks to start the round. Oh, uppercut floors Manua. Like I said, that one punch knockout power. Santos is a scary guy. And now we might see Manua slow down a little. Oh, uppercut. And he's got Santos hurt. And he's backing up. Oh, good. There's Santos. Manua pushing forward. Even though he got knocked down and... Not just after a few punches, but one uppercut put him down. So you gotta, you have to be careful going in on a guy like Santos. He just eats a right hook there. Good work from Santos. Jab and a hook. Nice straight there for Santos. Nua now pushing forward again. Hits a high kick, and he's got Santos wobbling. And Santos is backing up. Oh, both these guys are just... Oh, uppercut lands again. And Manu was almost out. That uppercut is vicious from Santos, who's now going to pass into the half guard and start landing some shots to the body. He's looking to transition. Manu now gets it back into the full guard. Santos again laying a few punches from the top and he's going to get up and let Manua back up. Manua now back up to his feet. He's been knocked down two times in this round. Oh, good spinning back fist. He's got Santos hurt again. The hooks. He is pushing forward. Like I said, that is dangerous. But uh, if anybody could do it, Manua is the guy. Santos has challenged for the light heavyweight championship, but lost to Anthony Rumble Johnson. Manua has got up there a few times, gotten close, but has fallen short. Manua pushing forward again, and he gets hit again, and he goes down. And now Santos jumps on top. He's postured up in the full guard and landed some punches. Manua pushes him off and gets this back up to the feet. Oh, big overhand by Santos. Both these guys have been hurt several times, but Manua has been knocked down three times in this round. He's spinning back fist almost. Oh, good high kick from Manua. Oh, uppercut, and Manua is out cold. That uppercut 
did work. Tiago Santos with a huge victory. And that's going to put him even farther up the ranks. He's 18th coming into this fight. Look at that. Right uppercut just lands. Snaps the head back. And Manua is out cold. Santos is uh, ranked 18. But with that win, you got to think Santos is on his way back to a title fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Up next, we move into the heavyweight division where the 4 and 2, 11th ranked Fabricio Werdum will take on the 0 and 1, 12th ranked Jarzinho Rosenstruck. Herb Dean is going to be our referee for this fight. Rosenstrike wanted to get back onto a card as soon as possible. After losing in his debut, he wants to get out there and proves he deserves to be in the octagon with some of the biggest names in the heavyweight division. Nice combination there for Ware Doom. Ware Doom is dangerous on the ground he will submit you um, but don't let that take away from his striking I don't think he's on the level as Rosen strike but uh, you know he's still a good striker right now he's pushing forward good kick to the body and good combinations there from where doom good push kick oh good jab and a straight with a kick to the body for where doom Oh, good high kick lands. Kick to the leg. Where Doom is the aggressor, and he is out striking Rosenstruck. Oh, now he gets into the clinch, lands a few big knees, and then comes out swinging as well. Rosenstruck goes for a leg kick there and lands. But Where Doom fires back, lands a big straight. Oh. Nice jab and a straight there from Where Doom. Where Doom so far in this first round has has outclassed Rosenstrike. He goes for a takedown. He's denied. Where Doom pushing forward again. He's gonna land some upper. Oh, he's got him rocked. He hits him with the high kick. Kicks him in the leg now. Rosen striking some serious, serious danger, and he is basically running away right now from Where Doom, who's on the chase. Rosen strike now seems to got his legs back underneath him. Oh, and he just continues to take damage from Where Doom. Fabricio is out. Oh, good head kick though, there for Rosen strike. Where Doom is outclassing. Rosenstrike so far and it's been and it's in an area where you think Rosenstrike would have the advantage up on the feet. Ooh, good spinning back fist. He's got him hurt again. Good hot head kick there for from Where Doom. Bricio just having a great round one here. He's looking to end it. He's putting a lot of pressure. Rosenstrike. Ooh, good straight for Rosenstrike. Head kick. Lands. Rosenstrike pushes back forward. As we come to an end to this round. Very good round for Fabricio Werdum. And a very upsetting round for Jarzinho. Jarzinho has got to get busy. Fabricio charging forward. He's striking. He's throwing more punches. He's landing more. He's more accurate. He's rocked him quite a few times to this point. Jarzinho has got to feel he's definitely behind going into the second round. Here's Herb Diem. Here we go. Both these fighters just threw big punches and missed.
Oh, good left hook from Rosenstrike. And a straight. And another straight where Doom was looking. Oh, Rosenstrike now came out, is coming out and showing that he's got a little bit of stand up himself. Where Doom. Oh, flying knee. He's got where Doom rocked. Flying knee lands for Rosenstrike, who's now putting on the pressure. Where Doom is backing up. Rosenstrike again. Where Doom looking for a clinch. Look for a knee that was blocked, though. Ooh, Where Doom looking for a huge overhand left. He just barely misses it. Nice jab from, for Where Doom. Fabricio is definitely looking pretty good right now. Rosenstrike not looking bad either in this second round. He came out, made some changes, and so far he's landed a few, including that very, very big flying knee that hurt Where Doom pretty bad. These guys are going to meet back in the octagon, just under half of this round left. Ooh, good straight uppercut and a hook, and Where Doom is wobbled again. Rosenstrike's got to go in on. As soon as he sees where Doom's hurt, he's got to push forward. Where Doom's looking for a takedown, that's denied. Kick to the body, he's blocked. Where Doom, nice jab. Oh, nice jab for Jarzinho. Rosenstrike definitely having a better round than his first round. It's close, but, uh, you know, with that flying knee and then the, you know, rocking where Doom twice so far, and you got to give this round to Rosenstrike. But there's a minute left. They're going to clinch up, and where Doom's going to try. Oh, good. Left hook there lands for. Oh, and a straight, and then a hook on the way down, and. Down goes where Doom, Rosenstrike's in his guard. You don't want to be there. Now with Fabricio, but not a whole lot of time left here in this second round. But Fabricio is going to look for, for a choke anyways. But there's not enough time for this to work out. Big. What a big round for Jarzinho Rosenstrike. He rocked Fabricio several times got a knockdown towards the end let's see what this one is that's the straight and there's the left hook that barely clips on the way down Fabricio looked out look at that straight lands perfect that hook just clips him but that's just a little bit more damage done what a well timed strike for Rosen strike it is on my scorecard 19 to 19 going in this third and final round and here we go these guys meet right back in the middle where they've been Rosenstrike being the more aggressive fighter now Fabricio that first round he outclassed Rosenstrike and in that second round Rosenstrike actually outclassed uh, Fabricio so you know which which round was the real round so far good work for both guys nice leg kick there for Jarzinho and then he follows it up oh good push kick to the face there for for where doom also lands an uppercut straight lands for Jarzinho jab to the body as where doom misses oh big High kick lands. He's looking to... Oh! And as he goes in, he gets rocked himself. Both these guys getting rocked early here in this third round. Back and forth battle between these two giants. Been a great fight. Love the fact that it's been a stand-up fight. Because Fabricio could probably take this down anytime he wants and just end the fight. But he's deciding to try to stand with Jarzinho 
And we're halfway through this third and final round. Ooh, some big punches landed there for Jarzinho. Nice. Oh! And Fabricio's rocked again. He's covering up. Jarzinho, though, not. Oh! Both of them land a head kick, but Jarzinho gets a knockdown. Oh, and a right overhand that floors where, where Doom. He's on top, landing punches. Where Doom covering up, though. Now Jarzinho gets the hooks. And Fabrizio will get this back into half guard. Now back into his full guard. We have just over a minute left to go in this fight. What a back and forth war. These two big guys are out there putting it all out on the line. Jarzinho. And now Fabricio is going to get a single leg takedown after getting up. And he's going to be in the full guard of Rosenstrike. 30 seconds left to go in this fight. Jarzinho landing some punches from the bottom. And he's able to get back up. You got to think where Doom has got to do something here. This round is close, but that knockdown with them both landing that head kick at the same time could be what wins the round for Jarzinho and wins the fight with a 29-28 decision. Here's that flying knee in the second round that lands perfectly for Jarzinho. And this is after Jarzinho gets a big knockdown. That He actually had two knockdowns. Let's go to Bruce Buffer. Big win for Rosenstrike. Congratulations, big guy. You deserve it. Up next in the light heavyweight division, Former champ, Corey Anderson, 5-2, 8th ranked. Coming into this fight with one straight loss will take on the 2-2, two two, ninth ranked Alexander Gustafson. Coming into this fight with one straight win. Eve Levine will be our referee for this fight. And here we go in this light heavyweight tilt. Corey Anderson, the only guy in this division to be able to get a win over... Rumble Johnson, he's already coming in and landing some good punches on Gustafson, who looks like he's bigger, but their reach is basically, it is identical. Good strikes there landed for Gustafson. Corey did win the title, but as soon as Rumble was able to get his rematch, he was able to beat uh, Corey with a big knockout. Will that affect Corey going into this fight? Coming off such a knockout like that to Rumble Johnson. He is a former champion, so you got to think he's pretty confident in himself. Nice straight there from Gustafson. Ooh, good hook. Corey takes it into the clinch, lands an uppercut, and exits. Good Superman punch there from Alexander. Good kick to the body. Uppercut lands for Corey. Now Corey just throwing some punches. He's getting some good combinations. Good kick to the body there for Corey. Now Alexander throwing a few punches there himself. Takedown snide. Alexander, ooh, lands a knee. Exits. Gets hit, though. Ooh, Corey pushing forward. Alexander looks like he's confused. Like, he's never been, had such forward pressure like this before. Even when he starts coming forward, Corey comes right back. Ooh, good straight there for Corey. Both those guys landing in that little exchange. Good hook there from Corey. Leg kick from Gustafson lands. Then a Superman punch. Overhand is blocked. 
Most of that was blocked. Uppercut lands for Corey Anderson. Ooh, big overhand lands for Corey. Now in the clinch, Gustafson, he lands a big uppercut, and he's got Corey hurt. And he is not going to be able to capitalize on that. Spinning back fist miss for Gustafson. That time lands, but is blocked for the most part. Eats a jab. Both those guys throwing punches. This has been a good start of the fight here in the light heavyweight division. Both these guys bloodied. Corey Anderson putting a lot of forward pressure on Alexander Gustafson. Seemed like he had him off there for a little bit. But look at that uppercut that lands. Then that uh, hook to the body right here. Bam. Hook to the body lands, but Corey was hurt. He was in serious trouble. Gustafson did try to go in and do a little bit more, but was unable to finish the fight. Here we go for round two, Eve Levine. And here we go. Gustafson comes right back out. He's throwing punches, but Corey's pushing forward. Corey looking to work off the jab. Gustafson throwing some punches himself, but that forward pressure. Corey is a good forward fighting man. He is a good fighter. He hasn't even shown his wrestling here in this fight yet. Oh, good exchange for these two guys. None of that really landing. As you can see, total strikes. Uh, Anderson's landing more. Gustafson, though, landing really the one big significant strike of this fight so far. We go to the clinch. Gustafson lands. Gustafson keeps looking for that Superman punch. Look at that work to the body done by Corey Anderson. That is, oh, good knee there for Gustafson. That is a nasty, and Corey's looking for a takedown, and it's denied. Look at the bruise underneath Alexander's left arm. As Corey continues to just keep pushing forward. Good leg kick there for Corey. Oh, and a kick to the body. You know, oh, Gustafson's got him hurt again. But backs up. Now he's pushing forward. He's throwing haymakers. But there's Corey yet again putting that pressure. He just keeps marching forward no matter what. Oh, good straight has Gustafson wobbled. Now Corey putting pouring on even more pressure than he already has been. But that kick to the body keeps landing there. Oh, and Gustafson again is hurt. High kick is blocked there. Oh, good uppercut lands there for Corey Anderson. And he's just going in. Gustafson was blocking most of that. Lands a jab on the way out. Corey continues just to march forward. Good kick to the leg there. And he's got him hurt again. Gustafson just trying to get out of this round. He's been hurt several times in the last minute or two. Ooh, good straight there for Gustafson. 20 seconds to go in this second round. Gustafson now pushing forward for a change of pace, and there's Corey to go right back to what he was doing. Oh, a good knee to the body has Gustafson seriously hurt, and that'll be the end of the round. And what a fight we have going here. Corey Anderson really took, um, took over there in that uh, second round, especially towards the end where he had Gustafson rocked on more than one occasion. Nice footwork and straight there from Gustafson. Look at this. Just bam. Lands right on the money. But like I said, Corey Anderson really took over towards the end of that round.
Gustafson was in some serious trouble. And here we go for the third round. They meet in the middle. And already Gustafson's hurt again. The oh, uppercut lands for Corey. He's got him up against the fence. He's going to get the top mount. And now he's just going to start pouring down some punches. Gustafson looking to survive, though. Corey's wrestling is very, very strong, though. He keeps this fight. Oh, Gustafson able to get this fight back up. Anderson, 89 lands to Gustafson's 57. Ooh, Corey, there he goes again. Pushing forward, landing some punches. Most of that blocked from... Oh, uppercut, and Gustafson goes down again. He's getting back up, though. Corey pushing forward again. Gustafson has looked for that Superman punch on several cages in this fight. Oh, good left hook has Corey hurt now. Gustafson's pushing forward, but there's Corey right back. As soon as Gustafson's able to push forward, Corey's right there to push right back. Good kick to the body there. And the clinch. Uppercut lands and down goes Gustafson. Gustafson just trying to survive here. Corey's able to get full mount now. And he's going to posture up and he's going to start throwing down some bombs. And these are starting to land. Gustafson gives up his back. And Anderson now throwing punches. Gustafson able to survive and get this back into the half guard. Now Gustafson's going to take the back and push off to get this back up. Oh! Uppercut perfectly timed as Gustafson went to do a Superman punch. He went flying in the air and Corey timed that perfect, landed it perfect, and lights out for Gustafson. And the former light heavyweight champion is well on his way to another title shot. Oh, what an uppercut. That reminds me of the... Santos uppercut. This light heavyweight division is stacked, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Corey Anderson on his big win. Here's Bruce Buffett.